Yes, Python is super, but you already knew that. That is not why you are watching this video. You want to know what this word super is all about. You know, like in this code. Well, stay tuned because in this video you learn what super is and how you can use it in your class initializers. Okay, let me show you a typical inheritance situation. Here is class employee. It takes a name and salary, stores them, and it has a raise salary method. Class manager inherits from employee. That means it will also inherit Dunder init and the raise salary method. But manager needs to override Dunder init because it takes this extra parameter. I bet you have written code like this before. I create a manager, raise the salary, and print the result. I execute the code, and here is the result. But what do you notice in the code? There is duplicate code. Employee has a class initializer that takes and stores name and salary. Manager overrides Dunder in it and takes name, salary, and the extra parameter. But since the base class already has the code to store the name and salary, it would be nice if we can reuse that code in the subclass to prevent the duplicate code. And this is where Super can help. Before I show you how it works, I need to set some constraints for this video. What you're about to see applies to Python 3, not Python 2. Although Super works with single and multiple inheritance, all the code you're going to see and all the terminology I'm going to use applies to single inheritance. So how does it work? Here is the updated code. Notice the call to super. If I run the code, this is what happens. Super allows you to call methods from base classes that are overridden in subclasses. But how does it work? First of all, perhaps you have noticed I avoided the word function in this tutorial. This is because super is not a function. As you can see in the documentation, super is a class. You can use this fact to impress someone at the coffee corner in your office. So, what does this class do? Here in the documentation it says that by calling it, it returns a proxy to a parent class. Instead of the word proxy, just think about access to the parent class. Let's test that. Look at the code again. I narrowed it down to the essentials. Let's inspect some things. The first thing I want to know is of what type self is here. Self is of type class manager. Next inspection. What is in self? There is a dunder in it here. But which one is it? I use the inspect module to inspect the parameters of dunder in it. The initializer has the runs department parameter. Aha! Now you know which class initializer is used by calling self.dunderinit in the subclass. Now I want the same information from super. I start by checking the type of super. This is not much information, but it is consistent with the documentation. So, what is in this object? Let's have a look. Super also contains dunderinit. And what parameters does it have? I use the inspect module again to check the signature of the init method of super. And Python shows that the init method of super is indeed the class initializer of class employee. Super gave access to the base class initializer that was overridden in the subclass. By the way, super does not only work in the class initializer. It works in any method. And that's all for this video. If you want to dive deeper into working with Super, let me know in the comments and perhaps I'll make a video out of it. Thanks for watching.